that's what we working on, like production, really. You know what I'm saying? We just, that's from the time our last album, that's what we've been doing on this time period, working on our beats. That's what we're working on our beats. Hello, I'm Kiko and welcome back to Tommy Girl. So this video is probably going to be my last video of 2017 and I just can't wait to start 2018. Um, but before we leave this year, I just want to thank you guys, my viewers. Thank you so much for, for the support. I know that I don't upload a lot, but you guys have just been there all the time and I just really want to thank you guys and also want to thank my sister for getting this for me this Christmas I know she would really appreciate it if I have mentioned her in this video because I tried on this highlighter for the first time for this video I don't know if you guys can see but this is the Becca highlighter and it is in the light chaser highlighter in opal flashes jade and it is a very daring color it looks a lot like the um, Milk Holographic Highlighter. It's really, it gives like a really kaleidoscope effect. You can see like so many colors and mostly blue. So for this video, I did promise you guys that I would make more DIYs. So here I am back with a DIY. I'm actually wearing it right now and it was so fast to do. Basically, I used a top that I bought for a dollar at the thrift store and it was like this men's um, t-shirt, ba nude t-shirt that was extremely long which is perfect for this top be because it's a wrap top so it was long enough for me to wrap it around my waist uh, so feel free to follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see some outfits inspo feel free to comment down below any video suggestions I'm just, I'm trying to find more videos to make and that's about it so let's just start the video now So you're going to need a lengthy top and if your shirt is already fitted, you don't really need to watch the first half of this video but if it's not fitted, I'm going to show you how to make your top fitted. So obviously you're going to need a fitted top as your sample. So for this tutorial, I've decided to show you guys how to make this top in a different way by actually sketching because I know that some of you guys have asked me um, to show you guys my sketches. So here it is. So we're going to cut the new pieces out of our um, oversized shirt to create a nice fitted top. And to this new fitted top, we're going to do two modifications that are going to transform it into a wrap top. The first modification being um, deciding the length of your top and cutting off all the excess fabric at the back. And the second modification is spotting where your breast is and deciding at which distance under your breast you want the split to be because that's where you're going to crisscross um, the two pieces of your wrap top. And the final result is going to be this lovely DIY wrap top. So the first new pieces to cut out are the sleeves and here I used a sample top to create new sleeves out of the original top and then you're going to use the sample top to create the new shape of your new fitted top on the original shirt. And just sew the two sides together. As for the shoulders, sew them right sides together, like so. Now for my favorite part, you're going to sew the sleeves to your shirt. So here, make sure that the shirt is um, inside out, but the sleeve needs to be on the good side. And then you're going to insert the sleeve inside 
the whole of the shirt and pin the edges of the sleeve to the edges of the whole of the sleeve of the top. <laughs> Honestly, just watch my video and you're going to understand. <laughs> um, just to make it easier, I'm just aligning the, pit, the armpit hole of the sleeve to the armpit hole of the shirt. And yeah. So now you have your new fitted top. And it really fits perfectly and I'm really happy with the result. Okay. Now for the real deal. So here I'm marking exactly where I want the split to start. Then I'm creating splits on both sides of the shirt until the point where I marked where I wanted the middle split to start. So your top should look like that when you separate the front from the back. And then you just cut off all the excess fabric from the back. And then finally, last step, you just um, create the final middle split. And this is gonna create something that looks like this when you try it on. And then all you need to do is to crisscross the two um, long strands of fabric and then tie it twice at the back to create this lovely wrap top. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys at the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this and feel free to share with me your creations through Instagram. I have received a lot of pictures of you guys trying out the DIYs and every time I receive them I'm just so happy. I'm just going to I'm just going to insert them. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at kelly.vng and I am going to see you guys next week. Bye.